I'm Michal Čudrnák. I work at the Slovak National Gallery at the Digital Collections and Services Department, where we uh, take care of uh, online catalog and other uh, web-based projects that uh, aim to uh, provide access to the collections we at the Slovak National Gallery, but also other galleries in Slovakia uh, maintain. Uh, I'm glad uh, that we could have we have the chance to uh, to speak to the community and we are uh, long term supporters of of open access of open glam and uh, our main project which uh, deals with the uh, open glam is a web of art in, in Slovak web Umenia, which provides access to all Slovak gallery collections and not only open ones, of course, but also uh, the other copyright protected, but uh, the, the open uh, public domain collections of Slovak National Gallery and other galleries like East Slovak Gallery are available free to download. And uh, this is our main experience. I'm going to talk to you about. <laughs> the main uh, benefit of open glam is that uh, you have uh, access to, to the community that knows uh, what to do or what's possible to do with open collections and to name one example uh, uh, the uh, wikimedia commons the community around it ha has been able to ingest to uh, scrape uh, the data from our online catalog into wikimedia commons and uh, those uh, public domain images are available in Wikimedia Commons and are being enhanced by the community. Uh, for example, there is a project, Some of All Paintings, which, uh, which is listing and making uh, paintings from galleries available. And uh, people are translating, reusing the images on uh, Wikimedia uh, entries. And that, that's one of the benefits Apart from that, we also like that we don't have to uh, uh, spend time to uh, allow people to use our images. So that so the administrative costs, which are quite uh, big sometimes, and that needs to be put in action when you when you want to approve each single public domain image use is 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 gone simply, and you can focus on something else. Uh, on the flip side, uh, we know that there is a uh, barriers to open glam, which many institutions perceive as 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 important, and one of them being the uh, uncertainty about the, the 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 open glam in terms of legislation. So, so they might not be sure whether they can actually uh, make those collections, digital collections, available because of copyright issues dealing with the curators. So we have some photographer, he's uh, taking pictures or, or some operator who is scanning the images and he might want to uh, claim copyright. So that's one issue. And the other one being uh, um, the institutions are quite often afraid of the possible misuse of, of, of the collections, which is also a concern we are dealing with. So what happens when an open collection or uh, a public domain image is, is misused by someone and you are you might be held responsible for that and uh, that's something we understand uh, if if i had to say something to other institutions uh, what's opened up our eyes about glam it would be uh, the like un unforeseeable uh, use uses of, of those uh, public domain images that have uh, popped up over the time uh, that we've been dealing with uh, uh, public domain. One example being uh, people printing uh, 
or using the images on, on, on t-shirts, sometimes getting in touch in advance to discuss the use with us or sometimes not, or uh, the community initiatives I, I've mentioned and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to see, see more uh, reuse of our collections and we are trying to motivate the people to, to do that. So we collaborate with uh, communities that, uh, uh, with platforms that are selling uh, DIY uh, merchandise. Uh, so we, we made a call for the users of the community to take public domain images and use, use it on their, on their creative endeavors like t-shirts and other, other uh, handcrafted uh, items. And uh, I have a personal message to those who are hesitating to open up collections. I think uh, you should start small and, and take small part of your collections, which is, 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 is digitized uh, in, in, in good quality and for which you have good metadata and see what, what's possible uh, when, when you do this. And you don't have to have a, a high tech platform to do that. You can partner with other initiatives like Wikimedia Commons or Europeana, uh, which do have this uh, infrastructure that provides, that makes the uh, connection to the public domain images possible and see what happens and then solve problems on the go. For example, with the licenses, if you find out that you want to limit it to certain use, like non-commercial, then that's fine. But you might also find out that limiting the use to non-commercial is is a problem for you. So you, you might uh, deal with this on the go. So good luck, and uh, I hope to see uh, some more open glam in the world of uh, galleries, libraries, museums, and archives.